Hey all Matt Hepworth here with UAD Forums and Studio New. And uh, for our first video, we're going to be doing something that I get asked about quite a bit, which is switching between Thunderbolt and Firewire for any of the Silver Apollos. That can be either the Apollo 16 or what used to be called Apollo Quad or Apollo Duo, which is now called Apollo Firewire. But any of the Silver Apollos will work fine as long as they have the Thunderbolt card installed. And uh, what we're going to do so we're going to connect it. We will need a Thunderbolt cable and we will need a Firewire cable. So we're going to go ahead and connect both of those right now. And then we'll see that our Apollo will come up. It'll connect. There's connecting Apollo. Okay. So now the cool thing is UA has made this really easy to do, starting with uh, UAD version 9.1. So we're going to go down here, make sure our Apollo is connected, which we know it is, but uh, we'll just see it anyway. There's our console and everything. Now I'm just going to come down here. I'm going to go to the UA meter. So this little guy right here, we're going to click on this tiny little menu down here on the right. And right here, we have an option called Revert Apollo to Firewire Connectivity. We're going to hit that, and this is going to prompt us. It's going to tell us that it needs to load the FireWire firmware and ask us if we're okay with that. Yes, we are. Now, Apollo may go through a cycle on its own, too. We're just going to watch this thing go through. I'll probably speed this up in the video in the edit side of things. Okay. Now, pay close attention to the warning there that says do not power off the unit. Um, you really don't want to do that because that will actually put you in a state where you don't have either firmware and your Apollo will essentially be bricked. So now it's asking us to power off the UAD device. So we'll go ahead and power off the device and then we'll hit OK after that. So now we can see that there is no device found down here. Now we'll power up our UAD. We probably should have disconnected the Thunderbolt, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so Thunderbolt is now disconnected. Apollo is firing up. Connecting to Apollo. So as you can see, we no longer have Thunderbolt connected. We are switched over successfully. It's reloading console here for us. And you can see we now have our FireWire graph down at the bottom showing our usage. Now, let's switch it back. So switching back actually is pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and shut down the Apollo see it disconnect here. We'll give it a second. No device is found. We're going to pop that FireWire cable out. We're going to reconnect the Thunderbolt cable. And we're going to power Apollo up. Wait for it to connect here. Now you'll notice that it says, hey, look, there's a new firmware required to run this version. We're going to go ahead and hit load. And it'll go through the same firmware process that it did before when we switched to FireWire. So if you're not really sure if you need to do this kind of thing, you probably don't need it. It's mostly for those of us that are using uh, you know, Mac towers, like the proper Mac Pros. Um, not the trash can style, but the ones that just have FireWire 800, unfortunately, and don't have Thunderbolt. Um, and a MacBook Pro, you know, really common scenario. This is my mobile rig, and uh, I use the MacBook Pro for everything mobile. And then I have the two Mac towers at the studio that uh, run the Pro Tools HD systems, and Apollo feeds those. 
So it looks like it's just about done here. Final update. Now we'll do the power off. Hit OK. Power on. We'll wait for that guy to come up. And then we should be seeing the uh, Thunderbolt connection here. Just saw it finish. There we go, connecting to Apollo. And you can see the DSP loading. There, session's all loaded up. It just flashed over and switched to the console version. You can pull our plugins and everything. So, mission accomplished. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of videos here. Uh, I'm going to try to do them as often as possible, and uh, it'd be great for all Apollo users, but we're also going to branch out. We're going to be doing stuff that's not related to UA or anything like that as well, um, just general recording tips, tricks, uh, things like that, but also a lot of UA stuff and a lot of Apollo stuff, of course, since uh, that's something that I love. Again, thanks for watching. Matt Hepworth, see you next time.